Say lip sync again. I dare you. I double dare you. New day, new tool to spend hours on a GPU. I've been playing around with fantasy talking for the last couple of days and going over the different options and seeing what how we can get the best results. So I figured I'll share that with you so you don't have to spend the hours and hours of trial and error. I'm going to start from the basics. I'm using the basic workflow provided uh, in the Kijai Van video wrapper. He's updated that uh, to include fantasy talking. You can go ahead and grab it from the example workflows uh, if you want to run it locally on your on your PC, or if you just want to run it on InstaSD, you can go ahead and start it. We have it pre-made and ready to go. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on how to get the the workflow running, but uh, it's pretty simple. Go to the example workflows from the van video wrapper, uh, grab the fantasy talking uh, example, drag and drop it into your comfy UI, and uh, just make sure you update uh, your van video wrapper to the latest version that has all the nodes. Uh, for the models, there's explanation here for each one of them uh, where you can get them from. Uh, most of them are, if you go to the uh, to the repository, most of them are are right here. And uh, make sure you get everything in the right places. Uh, little explanations provided by Kajai already. Uh, I use the 720p uh, 14 billion parameter van 2.1. You can use the 480p. Um, I just was trying it with a little bit of higher resolution. I went 768 by 768 for some of the final stuff that I was doing. But uh, even the 480p does a pretty good job. Um, I got pretty good results. Uh, it's just that the generally the 720p is better. Um, so maybe I'll start from some of the basic things uh, that, that I noticed while I was doing my testing. Uh, let's start from the CFG. The, uh, the default, uh, when you get the default workflow, these are set to five and I believe five, and then the end percent is uh, point, uh, point 0.1. I usually got better result by setting this to seven or even eight for the end scale. And uh, the end percent, I, I set it at point 0.8. Um, I didn't really play around with it. I had good result at point 0.52. Based on Kijai, this should work fine at point one. I just couldn't get a lot of movement. And when I was doing longer clips, it just wasn't producing a lot of motion and um, movement other than just the lips moving. But I noticed that when I increased these two variables, I got, I got better results. The other thing I just want to mention uh, is the CFG. This uh, helps a lot with adding uh, more fluid motions uh, and following your prompt better. Just bump this up quite a bit. Honestly, like if you want the real movements, you have to go like usually above seven. Seven, I think, is pretty much the base. Uh, and then from seven to around to nine, you start getting a lot of uh, facial movement and body movement, especially the, as you like increase the the length of your video. Twelve is pretty much the maximum I tried. Um, you start getting a lot of artifacts uh, after this. So I wouldn't suggest this unless you want a lot of movement and uh, your your prompting should be spot on. Another very important thing to mention uh, is the uh, the frame rate. So the frame per second in the fancy talking van to vector embeds is by default set to 23 frames per second. And then uh, in the workflow, this is also set to 23 frames per second. I notice for anything uh, that's like a normal human talking speed, or even when I was doing my own voice, now, mind you, I do tend to speak a little fast, but uh, 30 frames per second seems to be the sweet spot for a lot of the clips I did. And you have to like play around with this with each video and each voice uh, because you have to match it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get out of sync uh, lip movements with the audio. So, uh, yeah, make sure you play around with this uh, to get the sync correct. Now. Kijai mentions that um, he was able to get to 150 frames uh, with no problem. 
I play around with this a lot because I was going to do a 10 second video and uh, at 30 frames per second, we're looking at 320 or so uh, frames. It took a lot of doing, uh, but I think uh, it got uh, pretty good results at the end. So I'm just going to quickly show that to you. So this is, the entire thing is um, AI generated. The, uh, the image is Flux uh, with a LoRa I trained before. And it's an 11 second clip. So let's just have a look here. Alibaba just released Fantasy Talking, which is a realistic talking portrait generator, very similar to Sonic. And we just want to take it for a test drive and see how it works. So this is 768 by 768. This took about 33 minutes uh, on an H100. So just so you know, this wasn't super fast to generate. And I just want to show a five second video uh, that had the CFG ramped up a little bit. And I think uh, you get a lot more movement. Alibaba just released Fantasy Talking, which is a realistic talking portrait generator. So you can see um, at CFG, at, I think this one was about uh, nine. Uh, you, get, you get a lot more movement, um, but I didn't really try this uh, at a longer clip. Now, to get that uh, 11 second video, uh, if we don't do, if we just go ahead and add like 330 frames here and 30 frames per second, you're not gonna get a good video. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. So here's one I did without doing any optimization. So here's an example of one I did with without doing anything and just using the default settings and setting the frames to 330. Um, and I think believe this was at CFG of uh, Alibaba 7. Alibaba just released Fantasy Talking, which is a realistic talking portrait generator, very similar to Sonic. And we just want to take it for a test drive and see how it As you can see, it's not very fluid. It's just very much just very robotic, just the lips moving. And um, the one thing that helped fix this uh, was using the setting the context uh, options. So here on the van video sampler, if I'm going to pass this, uh, if you set the context, set it to 81, I found that you can easily do up to 300 uh, frames, but make sure you have to disable the T-cache. These two do not work together. So, so once you do that, you are increasing your total inference time. Uh, so yeah, with this and disabling the cache, you should be able to get up to 300. At least I tried up to 330 frames and I was pretty happy with the results. Uh, but yeah, nothing fast, but the results um, are pretty good. Anyways, uh, I wanted to share some of these findings as it takes a lot of trial and error and I know GPUs are not cheap. So when you want to give it a try, Remember to use uh, some of these settings to get the best result possible, hopefully. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or uh, if you want us to give some, some of these other settings some try that you don't have access to. Happy to help. Um, please like and subscribe. And I um, hope to see you in the next uh, video.